this is going to be an elephant. I've got a white 160 blown up a little more than halfway. I've got two gray 260s. One is blown up leaving just a little bit on the end. The other is blown up uh, about halfway. And then I've got a gray 360 with about five, six inches left uninflated on the end. Start with our 260. It's blown up nearly all the way. And I'm going to squeeze it just a little soft. And then just take and tie it into a loop. We'll find the nozzle and it blend together. And then what you want to do is fold it in half on the middle point and just divide it into two equal bowls, like that. Then we're going to take our other 260 and we're going to make a fold twist. That the fold is about three inches long. Grab the nozzle, twist that around, lock that in place by tucking the nozzle through, and then come out about 10 or 11 inches, make a bubble, and then make two pinch twists on the end. This is going to be all of them mouth and trunk and then any excess that you have pop off but hang on to this we'll use this for his tail so there's his mouth and trunk this is going to be his ears a big loop we made so take and twist one end one of the twists in the loop lock the mouth and trunk into it by just twisting it around like that and then set it aside for a moment and we're going to take our gray 360 and we're going to make about a two inch bubble in it. Remember when you're working the larger balloons it's, you want to keep them soft so squeeze it periodically. Then you're going to make a round bubble make that into a pinch twist and then I'm going to split that pinch twist into two bubbles just like that. And then we need another bubble the same size as this first one. <coughs> Now take that nozzle and lock those two together and then set the nozzle through there to hold that in place. And then we're going to take that and at this base here where the nozzle is, we're going to twist into where the mouth and trunk are. All these go together. So just lock that in place. And then the other twist and that big one, bring down and twist and the strip pinch twist on the top of his head just by wrapping one of those around. Tuck it through there like that. Give him a little bit of shape. There's your elephant's head basically. Now we're going to make his body, so go continue with the 360. Make about an inch and a half bubble in the back for his neck. Then make a round bubble. Make it into a pinch twist. Then we're going to make two about two and a half to three inch bubbles for his front legs. Lock those into that pinch twist there like that. And we'll make about two to two and a half inch bubble for his body. And we're going to make another pinch twist. So make a round bubble, make it a pinch twist. And I'm going to split this one his tail and then make his two back legs so about the same size as his front legs. Lock that under the pinch twist. And then any excess that you have I'm just let the air out of that. And wrap that around and secure that up in there nicely. Now we have his body. Straighten him up. Now we're going to take that little piece of gray 260 that we had left over and I'm going to pull a bubble on the end of that just suck a bubble on the end like that then come down and tie a knot in the other end and then we're going to take this and then that split pinch twist on his backside just lock that into there and because it's got that split pinch, split pinch twist you can make his tail stick up like that and of course, if you wanted, you could stop there and draw eyes. He's really cute. But I like to add tusks, so I'm going to take my white 160 that I had, fold it in half, and then give it a squeeze so you can see how it expanded there. That makes it softer. And then tie it off right there at the end. 
and just cut off that excess. We don't need it. And now it's plenty soft to work with. Take and fold it in half about it into two equal bubbles. And then coming from the back of the head, poke one of those bubbles through each ear like that. And then pull them up into that tent strip in the front top of his head. Cross them over to lock them in place. And then we're going to make those two eyes. I'm just going to lay one down on that side until it gets down to where his trunk is. And wrap it around. Do the other one the same way. That not only gives him eyes, but it also gives him some cute little tusks. Give the tusks a little bit of shape. And you have a cute little elephant.